In this lesson, we will improve the reflection of the water. Let's go to Sequencer to display the camera composition. We click on the camera icon. We improve the reflection we achieved with Lumen. Click Create. Then Visual Effects and choose Post Process Volume. In the search, write Infinity and check the box. This will mean that the process will work for entire project. Then search for reflections and change everything as shown in the video. Check the box for method and remove the screen space. In the command line, you need to disable the constraints. To do this, repeat the steps shown in the video. In the search box, type reflection max distance and enter the maximum value. Now the reflections are more correct. Now I'll show you a third way to improve the image. Click Create, then Visual Effects, then Planar Reflection. This is a near-perfect reflection. It is used for glasses or mirrors. Increasing the size of the planar, for example, five times, increasing the boundary of the reflection. By default, the reflection will be a little blurred, for which the prefilter roughness parameter is responsible. Set the value to zero. The default settings is 50% reflection resolution. This option can be found in the planar reflection sublist. Set it to 100%. The reflections will become sharper. It is possible to set it to 200%. Let's leave this value. It is individual for all projects. In some projects, it is necessary to set 100% or 50%. Some white bars appear at the intersection of planar reflection with the blumps. Select planar reflection and move it up until the stripes disappear. Make sure that support for global plane for planar reflection is checked in the planar reflection settings. Recall that to make planar reflection work. And make sure support global clip plane for planar reflection is checked. With the reflections finished, you can move on to the next lesson.